Hey guys, it's Christina, and today's video is going to be on Benji's hutch Sorry if you guys do hear any background noises in this video, since it is being filmed outside. And also, sorry if you see Max walking through the some of the shots, because he's roaming you the yard. You cannot find this hutch anywhere online or in stores, since it was built by my dad and me. Hutch me measures 10 feet long at the bottom, 2 feet high, and 2 feet deep. And then the top here, which I call his kitchen area, is three feet long, two feet wide, and then two feet high. I will start up here, which I call his kitchen Just area. Open up the door, you come to this little spot so right here. here is his water bowl, which is just a plastic bin with some rocks at the I bottom of it. watch my small pet haul, you will know that I did get him a new water bottle because his last one was defective. Here he has his bowl of pellets. This really cute apple microfiber cloth, which I usually just put his veggie bowl on and then I'll just put it like right and here. If you look up here, he just has one of his toys right here on a nail that I put into the 2x4. I love to kind of nibble on this and a little down bit. over here he has his little sisal toy. He's having a little good nom on the bark right Through there. The right he has his litter his pan. pan. I have some yesterday's news and then I put a thin layer of cheap timothy hay that I bought just around I have it. Just a few grape leaves that I put in there. I have this oat hay which came in a huge bag when I adopted him from the shelter so I still have some of that left so I just kind of put this up as a barrier for his oxbow to make he doesn't do his business in the good hay that he's supposed to eat and then later I will be adding a hay rack up and here and if we come on over to the left you can see he has his cute little hedgehog there and then just a little green thing underneath. And below this is his ramp. His ramp does have this towel over it just for traction since you can see we've painted it or I painted it. So it's really slippery so I just binder clipped this towel onto his ramp. And sorry that it is so dusty with hay because I had a toy up here for him that was like a cereal box filled with treats in there. And then he pushed the box down his ramp, so it got all over Anyways, his Anyways, if you guys do have any suggestions how I can keep this part of the towel up here on his ramp, because it always slips down, because as you can see I can't put a binder clip because of this 2x4. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to keep this up here, please leave them in the comments below, and it'd be awesome if you have any and ideas. And you guys can see Benji's having a nice nom on his grape leaves. Okay, now moving down to the first story. Okay. Here Benji has his little box which he likes to sleep in. his cardboard box, he's got a cat toy which he loves to rattle. He's got a jingly ball which he loves to toss. And then his barrel roller, which you can see he has been chewing on quite a bit. And inside his box he just has his little rag, which he likes to sleep with. Before I did have this rug inside of the box, but I would find every morning it would be pushed out of his box. Since it is warmer now than it was before, I think he just doesn't want to sleep with it because it's too warm. So what I ended up doing is just throwing it on top of this box to give him traction since many times I do find him up here just kind of chilling out on top of his now, box. in front of his box you can see we have this really big tile, or um, this isn't tile, I think this is uh, cement just shaped like this. I think that's what my dad told wrong, me. Though, but it does keep Benji really nice and cool like when it gets too hot. He gets nice and cool by this. Plenty big for him to stay on. Over there he has what used to be a little ball, I think made out of stripped willow. And you can see he had a lot of fun tearing that up. And then he has another jingle Okay, now ball. coming into this door. First thing you can see is, I think, this corn husk ball that is attached by a nail up there. Then right over there by the bottom of his ramp. He has another cat toy and the one that came with it. And in the right pack. over here, you can see he has destroyed his bundle of willow sticks. He chewed off the other ones of this, and looks like he's completely torn it apart. So I'll leave that over and here then for them. We have his bristle ball, which he absolutely loves. As you can see, he just loves chewing on this. And Mr. Benji, who's just taking his time, chilling out. You got a little bit of hay under your chin. Let me get that for you. There you go. Hey, nice bun, huh? And so he is lying partly on top of this woven play mat that I got from Petco. He's got two more of those willow sticks from this willow stick bundle. And going up here, you can see he just has this really cute heart willow basket. I'm wondering why there's all of that hay along the crevice. 
is because I used to have his litter pan down here just so that he could get used to his hutch and then just have his litter pan on the first floor so it's easier access but now that he's gotten used to it for about a week I put it on the second story to see how it I just put up his litter pan there this morning and it looks like it's been working really well so I'm really happy about that because it's obviously a lot easier to get to his litter pan when it's on the second story then next to his woven play mat he has his corn husk toy that I got for him from Petco which he loves next to that he just has this tied box that I got from Costco and he likes to just kind of have that upper step there for him to lie down on and sometimes I see that him push his toys underneath here like you can see these two cat toys he pushed underneath here. and then above that is another one of his toys hanging from a nail I put in the 2x4 and it's just this pine cone toy from Petco and you can see he really likes the pine cones he loves to chew on them. Then coming around to the left, he has another one of his dangly toys that I got for him from Petco. And you can see that he also loves this one, so I definitely recommend this toy. And then looking down from here, you can see he has this circle rug that is blue with white polka dots, which I absolutely love. And you can see, if you're wondering why all of these blocks are here, if you did watch my gigantic PetSmart haul, or no, Walmart haul, I think a few months ago there was a toy in there that had like these blocks with woven stripped willow balls about this so big. Unfortunately Max got a hold of that and then he just took off like the legs and stuff so I just kind of took the leather and then I re tied everything. So then I put one of the legs into Benji's cage and then he had a blast with it as you can see. He just tore it apart and then threw these around everywhere. And then you can see he has his green mat over here. I am planning to get him more mats because I have to say these mats are really awesome. They also provide him with a little bit more traction since this tile that I bought is a little bit slippery so I do want to buy him more of these mats. And then the last couple things that we have in his cage are this ball that you can see he loves these balls for some reason and his other one down here is also all torn up and whatnot so he enjoys destroying these and then the last thing is his giant nut nut nibblers you can see I definitely recommend this toy for somebody with a small pet I found that my other pets seem to like it including my hamsters and as you can see Benji definitely loves it too so yeah guys, I'll just give you guys a quick overview of his cage. And then here is a view from the other side. And then his kitchen area on the second story with some uneaten evening salad. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later. Bum Bun, wanna say bye? Wanna say bye? No, you're just gonna eat. Alright, bye guys.